So when we start multiplying complex numbers, we've got to be able to deal with things like i squared or i cubed or i to the 4. Okay? So we understand i to be the square root of negative 1. Okay? So that means that when I square both sides of this, i squared must therefore be equal to negative 1. Okay? Now, if I've got i cubed, I'm multiplying both sides of this equation by i. That gets me the i cubed, so I get minus 1 times i. So we have negative i. So i cubed must be negative i. Now, if I multiply both sides by i again, I'm going to get i to the 4. And now we've got minus i squared. Now, i squared, remember, is minus 1. So minus times minus 1 is equal to 1. So i to the 4 is actually equal to 1. So i to the 5, multiplying both sides by i, must therefore be i. And so on and so on. OK? Um, and you can kind of keep going. OK? So we're going to have minus i so on and so forth. So what have we got? We've got i minus 1 minus i 1. i minus 1 minus i. And so the next one will be 1, right? So i to the 8 is going to be minus i squared, which is the same thing here, so 1. So i minus 1 minus i 1. i minus 1 minus i 1. OK? And if you're ever not sure, OK, we want to do it fairly quickly. Um, if you have the Casio class with the FX991EX, then you can get into the complex mode by going onto menu and then pressing number 2. OK, and then you can find I by pressing the button that says ENG. You'll see that in purple there is the, the letter I there. OK, so that brings up I, and then you can do to the power of, let's say, 8, and I should get the 1. OK, so you can easily check these on your calculator as you go.